Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Purpose. I'm your host, Corey Clark. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. So today I had to drop off my youngest, who is 17, by the way, so he's not, you know, a baby anymore, but I dropped him off for camp, and I was so sad, and I cried when I left, and I mean, I cried like sad because I'll miss him, but excited for him and happy for him, and I just know that, you know, he's going to have an amazing time with his friends and that he's going to get closer to God. So there was just all kinds of reasons I was crying. But I thought to all the moms out there who get a little weepy when you drop your kids off for the first time at camp or school or whatever it is, it really doesn't go away. (laughs) It doesn't get easier. Oh, Maybe a little easier. I guess I don't have as big of a issue when my older two go somewhere. But um, yeah, I mean, it still makes me a little sad. So anyways, so that's what we're up to this week. Dropped him off to go to camp and just getting stuff done, gearing up for the launch of the Simplicity Project. So if you haven't ordered yours yet, make sure you secure your copy. Um, We've got awesome bonuses with that. I'll share a little bit more about that later. But um, you guys, thank you so much for all of the responses and feedback on last week's episode. Um, If you haven't listened yet, make sure you listen. I think it's timely for a lot of people. Um, I think it's something that we need to be reminded of, I need to be reminded of. And it's really just about mastering what God has already put in your hands. And um, I got so many DMs and voice memos, people thanking me. And like, I'm not saying that like, oh, look how amazing I am. I'm saying that because I'm so excited for these women who are now motivated to like take another step into their calling and to really be obedient with what God has given them. And so if you haven't listened yet, make sure you listen. And today I'm going to kind of talk a little bit more about, it's not the same topic, but it is like in addition to like last week's. So you don't need to listen to them in any sort of order. So you can go ahead and finish this episode and then go back and listen to episode 76 if you haven't yet. But, um, This is a lesson that I learned like a few years ago and I was kind of like, oh my gosh. (laughs) And it's something I have to remind myself of like constantly. So as I'm sharing this with you, don't feel like I have it all together and figured out. I absolutely do not. And it's interesting because like a lot of what I'm talking about today is how we actually like have more control over our life and our future than we think. But at the same time, like as a Christian, I know we don't, I know it's 100% in God's hands, but he's given us this human experience on earth that we have responsibilities. You know, we have things that we have to do, um, in being obedient. So anyways, you know, that's how I feel about it. No, I know I'm not 100% in control of my life and only God is. But I also know that I'm 100% responsible with what I choose to do with my time here, right? And so your life right now, like your current situation, whether it's good, it's bad, it's indifferent, whatever it is, it's a direct reflection of all of your past decisions, So, you know, maybe decisions you made 20 years ago or just a year ago, or maybe even things that you, you know, decisions you made yesterday. That means that right now, the decisions you're making today and this week, all the decisions you're making right now will create the life you're living a month from now, a year from now, even 10 years from now. So start being purposeful with 
each little decision that you make. It might not feel important at the moment, like it might feel like so meaningless, right? But it could be a small piece of something bigger and better down the road, or it could be a small piece of something worse down the road. So, you know, decisions on how you're spending your time, the money you're spending or saving or investing, the people that you're surrounding yourself with, those all create your circumstance, your current situation. So, you know, I'm not ignoring the fact that, you know, there's things that happen to us that are beyond our control. And those things can, you know, they can play a big part in our current situation, you know, especially like when we have life emergencies or um, health issues, things that are unexpected. Like I'm not ignoring that those things happen, right? They can really affect our current situation, but usually those kinds of things are something that will only affect us maybe for a brief moment, even if it affects us for a few years. Like in the grand scheme of your life, like we can't let those things change our circumstance forever, right? We can in that moment realize like, okay, this is my current situation. It's not what I was hoping for, but here's the decisions I'm going to make in this situation that will help me in the future. But, you know, most of what we're experiencing right now, like what you're experiencing, what I'm experiencing, our families, you know, whoever, anybody, (laughs) everybody, What we're experiencing right now has been created by ourselves, ultimately. So by things we have done, things we haven't done, um, risks we've taken, or things we've avoided, workouts we've done, or workouts we've skipped, you know, food we've eaten, TV shows we've watched, whatever it is, like, honestly, it all adds up. And so I just want to ask you, like, are you satisfied with your life right now? And like, I'm not talking about being content because we all need to be content and to praise God, you know, no matter what our circumstances are. I know that. But think for a moment about what you want your life to look like. Like, let's just say at the end of this year, where do you want to be financially? Where do you want to be with your business? What kind of community, like, do you want to be part of? All of those things, like, all of those things that we tend to not really think of because they're just so, like, normal. It's just what we do. Day in and day out, we just kind of do the same thing, right? But all of those things matter. And you have the ability to start to bring them into existence, the things that you want by the end of this year, by your actions, and by your discipline. You have the choice today, like right now, (laughs) you have the choice today to start creating the life that you want. It is for you, like not just for someone else. It's not just for me or, you know, people that you see on Instagram living their best life. It's totally for you too. It's honestly for anyone who is willing to make the choice to do the work, to stop playing it safe, to be disciplined in the things that they know they need to be. And, you know, here's the thing, like, about discipline, right? If it's something you're, like, already good at, or if it comes naturally to you, that's not discipline, (laughs) okay? It's the hard things that you have to be disciplined at. If you don't like, like getting up early, then maybe that's something that you need to be disciplined at. Or if you don't like working out or eating healthy, then maybe it's that for you. Whatever it is that you usually say to yourself like, oh, that's too hard or, you know, that doesn't come naturally to me. Like that is what you need to become disciplined in. You are not going to get to the place that you want to be at by doing the same thing you've been doing all these years, right? And it's the same for me. Like, I fall into the same patterns. And so this is seriously like I'm preaching to the choir here. I know we all know this, but this is like a reminder. Like, 
that it's up to us. And so, you know, when I realize that my current situation is a direct result of my past decisions or mine and Ryan's past decisions, like when I realized that, that's when everything changed for me. And so if there are things that you want to get better at, then get better at them. Read books, listen to podcasts, buy a course, join a mastermind, like whatever you need to do, put in the work to educate yourself. Look to the people who have mastered what it is that you want, right? Like what is it that you want to get better at? Find those experts in that field or in that category and watch what they do. Learn from them. Start making decisions the way that they would. And you're going to start to see, like you'll start getting results that they do. So for instance, for me this year, um, two things that I've committed to, like growing in, um, and I'm absolutely loving I wanted, like at the beginning of the year, this is what I told myself, I wanted to increase my knowledge and understanding of the Bible. And so I committed, like I made a commitment. I even have a podcast episode on it. Um, I committed to reading the Bible, the entire Bible, front to back at the beginning of the year, and I finished it in 30 days. And I also joined like an online theology school, school called Theos U. I'll link to that in the show notes so you guys can check it out. It's very affordable and there is so much amazing stuff in there. Um, anyways, I love it. So, you know, I read my Bible every day, which I always did anyways, but it's just different now because I'm committed to learning more, to asking questions, to studying more, and I'm ex- like committed to expanding my knowledge. So, and then the other thing that I committed to this year is increasing my knowledge like of money like I'm in two programs right now to help me with that and I have so much to learn still but my financial literacy is growing every day so if there's something that you don't understand only you like only you can choose to learn it it's not going to just like appear in your brain one day like you need to pursue it and you need to learn it and you need to practice it you know no one else is going to do that for you so I just you know we only get one life so we have to start living like it and pursuing the purpose that God put us on this earth for so I promise you guys like when you commit yourself to doing these things, you know, and it's going to look different for everybody, right? Some people are disciplined in areas that I am absolutely not. I can't get caught in the trap of thinking, oh, well, that's not for me because it actually can be, you know, they might be lacking in discipline in something that I'm really good at. We all are going to have our own unique circumstance. We're all going to, we all for sure have our own unique like purpose and passions that God has put inside of us but we can all start living this way if we choose to and you know sometimes it's not exciting sometimes it's hard sometimes it's scary a lot of times it's scary but playing it safe is not going to get you where you want to go there's just so much more on the other side of taking action right and stepping into like physically, spiritually, mentally stepping into what God has called you to, like it's going to be scary, but it's going to be so much more exciting than if you just sit back and, you know, live the American dream. I promise because that this is what I've been doing and continue to do for the last like eight years, I guess, nine years. And you know, obviously, if it's still something I have to remind myself of, it's not something you're ever going to be perfect perfect at. But pursuing it every day and reaching for something more and reaching for what God has called you to is so much more exciting. I promise. 
And that is kind of the end of my little rant for the day. (laughs) So that will wrap up this week's episode. I honestly, I hope you're inspired to start living on purpose and start choosing how your life is going to look this week, like even today, like right now. How do you want the rest of your day to look, right? How do you want the rest of your week to look this month, this year, and every year after that? I hope you're inspired to actually start pursuing your purpose and do the things that you're called to do. And remember, if you're feeling overwhelmed or like you do not have time or the capacity or the energy to start living the life that you know that you've been called to, then make sure you grab your copy of The Simplicity Project. It starts shipping the week of August 8th, but I do have like some fun bonuses that I'm giving if you pre-order now. And all you have to pay is shipping and handling. So go to simplicityprojectbook.com to get your copy. And you'll actually get the ebook and the audio version right away so that you can get started like today that's one of the bonuses when you pre-order so um you know start to create some margin in your life and watch what god will do there are miracles in the margin i promise my life was stretched so thin before i did the simplicity project like It's based on something I did in my life and in my family's life to create that margin. And it was like, as soon as I did, I was responsible with this life that God had given me. I was responsible with my health, my home, my finances, and my time, creating that margin. And then that gave God the room he needed to start working miracles in my life and opening doors and you know, gave me the time to write the book, gave me, you know, the time and energy and capacity and everything I needed to create the planner and so on and so forth. It was just like this ripple effect. And it all goes back to being responsible and disciplined with what God has already given you, right? Like that does not just apply to our finances, that applies to our time, that applies to our bodies, that applies to our families, our spouses, our children. It really applies to everything. If if there is something in your life right now, it's only because of God. And so how are you going to be faithful with it? So anyways, I hope that you are inspired to live on purpose, to simplify your life, and really pursue that peace um, that we all could use a little more of in this chaotic world. So anyways, you can get all of the stuff I talked about. I've got links in the show notes to the book, to the theology uh, online school I'm going through. And yes, that is all for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe, rate, and leave a review so that others can find the show. And if this show in particular gave you any aha moments, be sure to share it with your friends on social media and be sure to tag me as well. All right, you guys have an amazing week. I will see you next week on purpose.